well. We got a boo boo on the face. You get seasonal. You get seasonal allergies. Hi, dears. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be DIYing this hat that I got from Target. It was only $3, and so I thought, you know, what the heck, it's probably going to be pretty good to DIY. kind of want to make one of those cute Lolita-style uh, witch hats where they kind of like, where they're kind of bent like this. So I've got in my head how I'm going to go ahead and um, make that happen. Like, <laughs> uh, we're going to see if it works. It's all just in my head, so I'm not actually sure if it will work. So for this DIY, you need one basic witch hat from Target, a pair of scissors, some thread. And I also have this little kit here. It's got like pins and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not really using it for the pins. I'm using it for, I've got these little stars. Okay, you can't really see it. It's a little star. I'm going to put one on the end of my witch hat. Also, we've got some more pins. I have very little in the ways of hot glue. I have two sticks remaining and I've got my hot glue gun with looks like about a half a stick remaining. I'm not thinking I'm going to have to use too much hot glue on this because I am going to take this over to the sewing machine and actually try to sew most of it on. But the hot glue is going to come in handy for some of the things I have in mind. Because I really like the whole like uh, lace, like the black lace trim along the edge here. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do probably some like ruche uh, fabric on the inside. And then what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to tie like a bow around the base here. And, and then I'm just going to kind of like make it kind of bent. Uh, sort of like the sorting hat. Just because I feel like it's very, it's very tall right now. So I feel like, uh, just like, I feel like the witch from Wizard of Oz. And that's like a little bit too hokey. And I, so I want to look, I want to see if I can do something just a little bit cute with it. Okay. The last thing I have here is a big old bag of supplies. So this is just a bunch of black fabric, black lace, a bunch of cool stuff like that. So these are some of my basic scraps and we will go through it as I go ahead and do the video. Okay. So start. I probably am going to need to hold on to this base. I don't want to crinkle it, I think, till the end. I feel like I can do it with like, like a last minute touch. Okay, I'm going to start with picking out the lace I'm going to put on the trim. Let's look at what I have in terms of lace. Okay, so I have, so this, we'll start with this. So this is some black tool that I was thinking about like ruching, like ruffling, and putting like along the inside of the hat like right here so this part looks pretty. Hi. He's making an appearance. Okay, so the other thing I have is I've got this long cut of spandex and this is what I was thinking to use to wrap around the base of it because it's kind of stretchy and kind of cool. I'm kind of like, see if I have enough to make a bow. I don't know if I do. I probably also recommend you have a measuring tape. I'm just going to try to more or less eyeball this just because I'm lazy and I want to get this hat done this weekend because I'm going to like a dance. So I'm not like super picky about it. Let me see what else I have. This would be real cool but I don't think I have enough. Do, 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 do. This stuff's expensive too. This is the stuff I use to put on the bottom of my Morgan my dear dress. There's not quite enough. Do I have another little chunk here somewhere? Oops. I've got rose lace. No. Dude, I just need like a few more inches. I have like a polka dot trim. That, there might be enough to poke of the polka dot. Because this is already ruffled. I don't have to do any work on this. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Okay, cool. Looks like there's just enough trim for this polka dot, leftover black polka dot lace. The only thing about it that sucks is uh, there's going to be a bit of a, like a bare edge here. So I'm going to see if I have this black trim that I bought. Ooh. Dude, I'm investing so much in this hat. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, so I'm going to do a little cut so you guys can see what I'm doing here since you can't really see from there. I'm there we go. So you can see I got the black polka dot trim right here. 
and then right here we, I'm going to think about covering that raw edge with this and it looks like there's enough of it so that looks like it's going to be really cute holy crap what was that what was that okay wow so today apparently it is the spookiest day imaginable to be doing that a vulture literally just flew over my house <laughs> i guess i picked the right day to do this next part so deciding what i'm going to make the wraparound part here with the bow i wonder if i have any more of it at the garage you know i'm going to go check real quick so yes i do i just found another very large cut of it this one's actually not been cut into uh so it's a lot bigger of a chunk i saw a friend of mine do this like i think a few years ago she was really proud of it and i thought it was so cool and i was like you know i kind of want to do that so yeah so there's enough of this to wrap around but i still think it would probably best be best to make a full bow because the spandex is it's very heavy and so what i'm probably going to do is I will uh, measure around, I'm going to pin it, we're going to ruche it, and then what we're going to do is cut the leftover and just make a bow. And I don't, I'm not going to, you know what, just to save my sewing machine the problem, I'm just going to make the bow right here, because I've got enough it looks like that I could just wrap it. So let's see. So we're going to take this off, so this is a, this is a yes for sure, so we've got this pretty um, rope, whatever, that's also a yes. And then we've got this that I'm also going to ruche. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to just, the only part I'm going to do in the sewing machine is probably adding this dot lace around the edge because it will just, it'll go so much faster if I do it that way. But everything else I think can be done by hand. So I'm going to start with the measuring. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wrap it, see where it sits, right about here. Cool, just like that. It really don't need very much of it, it looks like, for the base of this. We just want it to overlap a little bit because we're going to have to sew it shut. So I'm just going to eyeball it. And we've got our cut here of fabric that's ready to go ahead and use to be rouge. Maybe just tucking in the raw edge. Yeah, that looks nice. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just taking some of the leftover fabric and I'm going to cut out the bow. Looks to me like there's going to be more than enough to go ahead and do this. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. And then I got all this leftover to make the tail. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just folding in the ends and then I'm folding it in half again because it's the top part of my bow and just make sure when you fold it in you overlap it a little bit. See, just have it overlap a little bit and then we're just gonna sew along that okay so now i'm just gonna go ahead and sew this so if you're using a silky fabric like mine which in this case it's spandex you're gonna want to pin it first which is what i'm doing here and then you're gonna want to do a big basting stitch that way you're able to ruffle your fabric fairly easily when you pull it at the very end and i'm just wrapping it around twice and then I can squeeze it, and then this actually helps secure the base a little bit more. This is very big. This is a very big bow. I, I kind of just eyeballed it. I mean, I want it to be kind of big and baggy, like the like the one that I'm kind of referencing. But it is a very big bow. It's, it's very big. Oh, that does look cute. Aww. Okay, look. Look how cute. I'm liking it already. Oh wait, can't really. It's probably best if I if I sew it up on the hat like that. Look how cute, guys! Yay! I'm excited. Cool. Okay. <laughs> this is all coming together. And now we've got the parts for the tail. Now technically, you know, this doesn't need a tail, but I'm gonna do one just because I think it would look really cute. So I'm just gonna do two long strips for the tail. I recommend when you're making your tail, just lay your bow out on top of it to make sure that you've got long enough edges. So I'm just using hand measurements, putting my hand on one side and it reaches from thumb to pinky. So I went ahead and just put a pin right where I want to cut it and it's right here on the edge as you can see. I do want it to have that pointed tail, so I'm going to cut a little bit further than where I put the pin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. Yeah, I'm going to give it kind of a raggedy tail. A lot of this is me just figuring it out as I go. Hi! What are you doing? 
I knew I'd put you away. Oh, because you're going to get comfy right there. Can you go? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I know the black cats are in for the holidays, but you gotta go. I'm probably gonna have to move them a few times, so... So all I'm doing right here is I'm just cutting diagonally along the sides of the fabric. So, that's where my middle part is, right there. So just like the top of the bow, you're just gonna go ahead and do a big basting stitch, and then pull it to ruffle it. As you can see, it's pinched in the middle here, so then what we're gonna do is the, the bow will go right there on top. And I actually like to set them a little bit on top of each other like that, and then we'll have the piece that's going to wrap around. So this last little piece here, this piece that didn't work out for making the bow, I'm going to use this to make the middle piece. So what you want to do here is just wrap your center part of your bow around and just keep pulling it because it is spandex so it's very stretchy material so just keep pulling it and then pin it when you get it right. It looks really cute. The only thing is it looks a little bit like, it looks like I need, like I need to squeeze it a little tighter. See? It's it's kind of like, uh, like it works but the base is still like really big. I feel like it's, it's a little bit big though. It, it works but I'm going to pinch it a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Our bow is done, yay. And now I'm gonna move on to the next part which is gonna be adding that ruching along the bottom of the hat and then going ahead and adding the trim along the top part. The inside that's like really ugly and I feel like just adding this to it will probably help. I mean, it was a $3 hat so it makes sense. It's gonna be a little bit of, a little bit of TLC. I'm really happy to be able to make this video. I was not feeling well for the last few months and, and I got the idea for it just recently and I was really excited and and I, every time I went to try to make the video I, I just felt really sick again and I wasn't able to do it. So I'm really happy to say that I'm able to get in here and do it. I'm going to be back. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ruffle it in the sewing machine. So I started by adding my black polka dot lace around the edges of the hat just past the wire. Then I took the more pretty accent embroidery trim and I covered over that raw ugly edge. Then when I was finished I went ahead and took the tool and I ruffled it on the inside of the hat and sewed it in. And when you're done with that you want to snip off all of the excess along the inside. Hey guys, okay so I'm back. I went ahead and added all the trims to my hat. Um, as you can see here, I also did on the inside, I did a bunch of ruffling so it looked really nice. Now the only part I've got left is to go ahead and add the bow. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the base part that wraps around the hat and I'm ruching it as well. Okay baby, you gotta go. Cause I ruched it. And now I'm going to go ahead and attach it. We're really close to being done with this thing. So at this point I'm just wrapping it around, fitting it, making sure it looks real nice. And then I'm going to take my needle and thread and from the inside of the hat I'm going to just sew this middle part around the base. And any raw edges you just go ahead and tuck. And this whole part's just going to be covered. It's going to be covered by the bow so you don't have to worry. Next part I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do that where I wrinkle the hat um, before I go ahead with the adding the bow. So all you're going to do here is just make one giant basting stitch along the back seam of your hat. You'll basically start very wide at the bottom and just make your basting stitch smaller and smaller the closer you get to the top of the hat. What? Hello! Arya knows where to sit but you don't, do you? I didn't predict I couldn't fit my fingers up in here. No! What do I do? I'm gonna have to start pulling the hat down. Alright, I've officially poked myself. So now, we should just be able to pull it. Somewhat. And at this point, it's just a matter of adjusting it to your liking. That looks really cute. 
I'm digging it, guys. Just a trick. If, you're, if your hands are ever get really dry and you're trying to um, create the knot for your thread, just, just breathe on your hands and that really helps. I'm going to take the hot glue and I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and, and stick the ball on now. Press it real good, as long as you can. You really want this stuff to meld together because I'm going to go ahead and take the bow here in the back and I'm just going to sew the corners like up onto the sides. So I'm just doing this last little finishing touch here where I'm adding a little star charm to the very tip of the hat. Now I recommend sewing it on kind of loosely, that way it dangles. It's pretty much done. As you can see, that's the final result. Very heavy in the back. Not sure what I'm going to do about that. Not sure if it's going to be a problem. It might actually be good to be weighted in the back. We'll see. When... Oh, yeah. Okay, I actually really like that it's weighted in the back. It feels a lot better now. Hopefully it looks good. It's kind of hard to see from here. But, uh, yeah, it's. I like that it's weighted in the back. It, it makes the hat, like, overall feel like a lot more high quality and it feels um it feels like if a breeze went by it's not gonna fall off my head so that's good because before like literally like the day i bought it at target i was taking it out of target uh i put it on my head you know because my hands were full of groceries and then um as i'm walking out like a breeze blows by and then the hat comes flying off my head oh so, yeah tell me what you guys think Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've made a witch hat or anything else spooky for this season, I would love to see it. So please feel free to share it with me in the comments down below. And as I've mentioned before, if you don't know, I do have a comic called Dark Tales of Lolita that is now currently on sale for the month of October. So if you like Lolita and comics, you might want to check that out.